Well, let's get to episode four of Power. So we open with the boy chess heifer trying on that necklace. So while she's playing with the necklace thinking about Jane, her boyfriend messages her and she's like, nah, don't come over, I'm gonna go to bed early. So now we got Ghost and Tommy arguing about whether it's Annabelle or not hitting they shit. So Ghost wants to have a meeting and look him in the eye. Now we got Tommy running up on Holly demanding she go out with him. And Holly say, well, I'm not losing out on $1,000 worth of tips, so you need a new date. Child, Tommy pull out five racks and says, we're going. We're going. Meanwhile, in Ghost's office, the party planning heifer ain't happy with the drug overdose that happened last week. And she says, if it happens again, I don't think I can throw any more parties here. And matter of fact, the Sutton Place party budget has been dramatically trimmed. He said, okay, you can have the shit it costs. However, however, I want the rest of your parties for the year. So we got Tommy and Holly on the date and Tommy talking about how he was a young thug in sixth grade, whooping ass. Child James and Angela meeting at the New York Public Library with a passionate kiss. And she's got on her diamond necklace. And so this is when James drops the bomb. After Angela said, so are we going out now? He said, well, you know, my, my daughter almost died yesterday. I, I got three kids and a wife. Angela, in this moment, you should run, but you don't. Oh, and she fesses up to having a boyfriend, but girl, you don't like his ass. So she keep the necklace and she head on home. They were both just fooling themselves. Fools in love, or just fools. Meanwhile, across town, Tommy pops out the pisser to see somebody getting handsier with Holly. So child, Tommy starts punching him, then Holly gets in on the act. It's a bar brawl. Lord, and that starts the dysfunction of Holly and Tommy. A passionate after fight kiss. And Holly's like, I stole his chain. So they go home and fuck and I can fast forward through that. Oh, but she asked him for some cocaine and honey, he in heaven. Meanwhile, across town, the boy just have her putting her necklace up along with her dreams of James. So now Ghost and Tasha get into an argument because she's like, wait, what's going on? Why is Sean saying he's protecting me? You keeping shit from me. And he's like, I'm doing everything for you. She's sick of that club. She want him to hang out. With the feds, they, they've heard about this big meeting, so they're going to watch Annabelle's ass because they think he might be Lobos' new connect. So Ghost is giving Tommy the plan for the meeting. He's like, look, we don't need nobody stashing shit at the spot knowing where it is early. We'll do the okie doke 20 minutes before. That way it'll be safe for sure. Oh, the informant Nomar is getting in for May May from that 13 year old girl about the meeting. So right when he gets the in for May May, Angela walks in and he lets her know. I swear this girl gonna get her pappy killed. Her pappy popped. So back at the house, Tasha's pumping Tommy for in for May May about, Sean, about why Sean was her shadow this morning. And they're both sick of hearing jokes talk about truth. At Angela's house, Greg walks in and has been spying on Angela. He knows she went to see the informant alone. Chow, so now Greg trying to leave some clothes at the boy chest heifer house. Chow, Greg go to open the door. She got the diamond necklace and she slammed that shit like she had a hidden family in there. So now he wants to know, where is this going? You've been distant and absent. He said, is there someone else? There's no one else. Mm-hmm. So he take his ass. Girl, I don't think he would have opened that jewelry box. You're a woman. Like, a jewelry box in a drawer ain't gonna be that big of a deal. And even if he saw the necklace, you could be like, yeah, a guy I used to date gave it to me. That's the truth. So we got the camera set up outside the meat. All right, now we got some popo coming by and and they recognize Cantos and are pissed with them. They're like, how did you end up here? You're a sly one. Oh, Lord. Actually, I don't think these are police. I think they're like club permit people. And they need to see James now. But James has to be at the meeting. Child, go said, Tommy, you got to take this on solo. I'm heading to truth. Tommy's about to shit. So Annabelle go to put his sneakers on and somebody slid his throat from behind. Is it the red sneakered heifer? It's the red sneaker helper. Back at the club, the police are saying, we know illegal narcotics have been sold in this establishment. So Ghost hands that cop a wad of money and said, give us some time to work out the kinks. 
Take that fat wad of cash and keep it pushing. Let us know how that search go, hon. What in the shake down, shimmy? Meanwhile, the feds ain't seeing nobody going in and out. And they're like, where could they be? Under the streets. Under the streets. Under the streets. Selling drugs, committing crimes against you and me, against you and me, me. If you're a robber, what you say? That is the way you get away. Down where it's wetter. Don't smell no better under the street. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So Angela finds a possible way in. Her man says, "Well, we checked it," and she's like, "But if if we didn't, if we missed something, they could be in there right now. I gotta ID that distributor." So we're at the sit down with Tommy, but Annabelle ain't there. So Ruiz is like, "Well, since Annabelle ain't here, where the hell goes? He gonna call the meeting and not show up." Child, I gotta connect in Mexico and y'all been overcharging. I'm sick of you. Okay, so Tommy panics and says, I'm turning shit back on. So if you wanna go with Ruiz, you can head on out. Child, meanwhile, the Fez busted into the wrong restaurant. Mm, mm, mm. Saxon, um, the other guy go into the house to see what all the commotion is and the detective is like, so this guy got killed, y'all was sitting right outside. Get the fuck out. Ow! She wasn't having it. So Ghost comes in talking about the sit down and Tasha wants to know what's going on, but Ghost just brushes her off. Meanwhile, Lobos calls Ghost and lets him know about Annabelle's death. And I think I'm going to get a piece of key lime pie. I got like, I got like 10 minutes left. I'm gonna get through this episode and then I'll have pie for whatever I do next. Will I do another episode of pie? Maybe I will. It's kind of fun. And Ghost is like, how did you find out? the police, but why don't you know what's going on in your business? Ghost business. And Ruiz is trying to take your job, sir. Now Ghost meet up with Tommy and lets him know Animal's dead, but why'd you turn shit on? So now Ghost and Tommy getting mad at each other because Ghost accused Tommy of killing Animal. And Tommy's like, you can trust me. So we got Tasha on the phone with Keisha scheming on Sean to get in for Mei, Mei about her husband. Meanwhile, at Truth, we've got Holly serving drinks. And she spots the guy who's been selling the bad Coke. Cha Angela at home crying her eyes out, but for what? You better sell that necklace. Is she crying cause Greg left? Girl, you ain't want his ass. What is that noise? The fuck, 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 the fuck. So Chow, Sean go to bring the groceries Tasha called for, and she's in the shower pulling a midnight seduction. Back at Truth, Ghost is gonna have Tommy handle the dealer with the bad dope. Meanwhile, the boy chest have a barges into Ghost's office to give him his bauble back. Chow, why you bring it all loose? You couldn't bring it in the box? But Chow, he put that necklace back on her and then he put it on her, right there in the club office. Desk pussy. Fast forward pussy. And that was the shit. So I'll see you soon for something. Power, episode five. So we open with Jamie and the boy chess heifer looking at each other post coitus. So Ghost sends her home with the driver. Child, I think Sean got an eyeful with that kiss outside the car. The next morning, Ghost wakes up to Raina singing for the play. And the jury remind us she still got the pipes. He already booking his next date with Angie, though. Back with the feds, the big boss is mad. The information from our informant no more was completely bogus. So now they gotta find out about Annabelle's murder. So now we got Ghost and Tommy talking to Ruiz, seeing if he killed Annabelle. Well, so Ruiz has lied, and they caught him. Ruiz said he didn't talk to Lobos, but they know he did. <laughs> So Tommy's like, let's get Sean to kill him. And Ghost is like, are you kidding? He's a big boss. Sean will get himself killed. Then Kane is going to be pissed when he comes back. And he said, none of our hands need to be on this shit. We need plausible deniability. So they agree to hire the Jamaicans. Meanwhile, across town, the boy chess heifer talking to the detective about Annabelle's murder. Back at Truth, Ghost sees the event planning heifer and she got him all four parties. But he's pissed off, Simon Stern. Sinfully delicious. 
Who remembers? Who remembers? I've started drinking coffee. Lord help you. So Tommy goes to the Jamaican restaurant and he's asking for shit and it's guess it's like a code. We don't have that. We don't have that. Sorry, we altered that at the moment. And that's what would happen when I went to Golden Crust on 125th. Like I would call and be like, do y'all have um, uh, curry goat? And sometimes they wouldn't and I would call it. Through. It's like if you don't remember to get it at the beginning of the day, you ain't getting it. You ain't getting it. There were enough places around where I could always put my hand on some oxtail though. Now we got Ghost and Angela on a date waxing sentiment where they went once upon a youth. Back at the house, Tommy stops by and Tasha says, oh, Ghost is late for a meeting with you here? He's been missing a lot lately. And Tommy says, well, I actually met a lady and I'd love to bring her by for supper. Interesting how t Tommy covering for his ass. He don't know what's going on, but he covering. Across town, Angie wants to know what we're doing here. Are we just fucking? Up your lives, hell yeah. She said, if I stay here, I'm making a choice. And they make the choice to fuck again. Now we got Holly and Tommy giving us mob romance. And he gives her the invite to dinner. Meanwhile, we got Nomar in custody with the feds. So he let her know, look, the meeting switched up, but they hashed it out, and Vibora is now gonna meet up with the distributor, and we'll be selling again. So Nomar's like, look, I can't get you no more information. I ain't in the inner circle. But the boy chess heifer says, let me worry about that. I'll get you in. I got you here. I'll get you in. Across town, Raina crying because she didn't get the part. So Tasha upset that Raina ain't get the part in the play. She think race is at play. James thinks it's just, you know, sorry you didn't get the lead. And he's like, we gotta prepare her for the disappointments in life and to keep trying. Tasha, meanwhile, taps into her feelings about her failed singing career and the fact that her mama wasn't shit telling her she'd never make it. So back at the feds, they still trying to figure out how to get to Ruiz. And Rivera tell the boy chess heifer, okay, I'ma help you. But how long have you been fucking Agent Knox? Cause I can read people and it's low key obvious. But she don't fess. So now we at Truth and Cantos is looking for Holly, but Holly busy fucking Tommy. And who shows up but Simon Stern? Meanwhile, Tasha's getting dinner ready for her company. Child, so Cantos desperately trying to get in touch with Ghost and Tasha out here taking calls and deleting messages. She like, mm-mm, I'ma have his ass tonight. Child, they show up to this dinner just coked up and bubbly like uh, Robin Thicke and Paula Patton at that MTV Awards. Hey, hey, hey. So Cant trying to stall Simon Stern and Simon Stern is seeing if Cantos has any infamame on James. Back at the Heezy, it's a fabulous family dinner. So Ghost and Tommy retire to the sitting room and Tommy tells Ghost we're all set up with our hitman, but Ghost is pissed that Tommy's fucking the merch. Ghost said, you're acting like a child, bringing breezies to my house for show and tell. <laughs> a breezy. <laughs> I guess that just blows through like a breeze, just whoo, and it's gone. And Tommy says, this ain't some skank ass broad. She is. She, I mean, skank a dank, dank, dank. Meanwhile, we got Holly. She said she wanted to go to the pisser. How'd you end up in the closet? Meanwhile, across town, we got the boy Chess Heffa and Rivera at Nomar's safe house. I'm sorry, his name ain't uh, Rivera, it's Gonzalez. Oh, so they gonna give Nomar a, a, a rare snake to give Ruiz so that he can get in the inner sanctum at the birthday party. So after Tommy and Ghost have the tiff about him fucking Holly, Tommy kind of blows out, grabs Holly's coat, and they run off. So we get in the elevator and child tea all over the floor. Holly says, well, Tasha seems like she has everything except her husband is cheating on us. I caught, I was dropping off some receipts and I caught him nailing some Latina in the office. Mm. And now Tommy knows. Child, Tommy go off on that ass. You need to mind your own business. Shut the fuck up and punches the wall in the elevator. You don't be shaking no elevator now. Don't you shake and don't you shimmy. In elevator, you do not want a jimmy. Oh God, back at the boy Chess Heifer's apartment, Greg comes in and says, where you been? So she fill him in on the Nomar shit. 
Oh my God. Now Greg asking if she fucking funky Cole Medina. So she was getting ready to go, but he's like, oh no, we're gonna talk about this now. No. Oh. So she's like, all right, let me tell my friend I can't show up. So she called Jamie. That's the thing, she fucking Jamie, she ain't fucking whoever. So uh, Angie, ooh, sly, sly, sly. She said to Greg, I'm not fucking, I'm not fucking Medina or anyone else at the office. And then Greg said, or anyone else. Like kind of, you know, like that's what you meant to say. And she just kept right on going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You ain't pressed the right issue, sis. Slid right on by under the wire. So she trying to blame it on the job and he ain't feeling the bullshit. So he leave her keys. You need space. Here's all the space you need. She ain't mad. She like, shit, I gotta get to Jamie. This way you won't walk in on us fucking. We can come here and fuck in peace. Back at the apartment, Sean walks in and Tasha starts flirting with him in his new suit that Ghost got her. And she trying to get some in from Amy. I bet you see a lot driving Ghost around all day. Mm-hmm. So she wants to know what uh, Ghost and Tommy have been disagreeing about, but you should be peeking around about that puss. So Ghost get to the club and Cantos tell him Simon Stern was here and Ghost mad Cantos get, didn't get in touch with him. But you need to be mad at your wife. Lord, and now we got Tasha going to the school trying to get Raina another audition. Lord, so Tasha see that the school uh, is trying to raise money for a playground. And she's like, oh, okay. The Spencer girl got it last year because it's been three generations. Well, let me go on and show you what the St. Patrick money can do. Uh-oh, we got 12 minutes of the episode left and here come red sneakers. They actually are like a... Not a pank, but a fuchsia. Oh, oh hell no. This heifer didn't have no socks on in them sneakers. Uh-uh, them was like a sneaker wedge. She took them shits off and put on some clear stripper heels. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh hell no. Oh, not foot funk in a clear heel. Mm -mm. At least them toes was done, but still. Oh, this is the 25th anniversary at a strip club, and we see the future heel heifer hiding a weapon. So I guess she gonna stab him when he gets a private dance. So we got Nomar presenting him the snake. Child, he holding that snake up like, hey, hey, snake. Now if you gonna give me something, it better be a snakeskin Hermes bag. And then I'd be like, hey, hey. So that gets him the seat in the inner sight. Meanwhile, Ghost is sitting at home and Angela gives him a text. Sorry about last night. I'll make it up to you in an hour. Mm, mm, mm. I I so Ghost asks Tasha, why don't you tell me Kanto's call? And she says, I forgot, which confirms his story because he low-key wouldn't believe in Kanto's. And Tasha downplay it like, I just forgot with the dinner. Oh, and Raina gets a call about the pot. She's got it. And James looked at Tasha, and she's like, I'll be right back, we're out of milk. <laughs> Girl, you know. Oh my God, this hitman is not named Cool Runnings. We're heading in. Oh, but she actually going to smoke weed with Tommy. So Tasha telling him, that girl Holly, too fast for you, honey. Tasha like, look, Ghost is off. You left early because you and Ghost had words last night. I know. We got to keep them grounded. Oh, child. So now we got the Jamaicans heading into the club where Ruiz is, and then we got Pink Sneakers in there too. Everybody gonna die. So now we see Pink Sneakers, and uh, she trying to get Ruiz to come with her for a private dance. And he heads off to the champagne room. Oh my God, the lyric in the song that's playing was just, and her boyfriend a bitch call him Tyler Perry. Ha! <laughs> Child, the Jamaicans is in there peeking through the curtain. So now we've got the ending montage. They love to end it with the montage. So we got Jamie and Boy Chess Heifer fucking. We got Pank Sneakers seducing Ruiz in the champagne room. And we got the Jamaicans sneaking around. Child, that heifer was dancing and grooving, grabbed that knife and got Child, no more distracted texting that 13 year old and the other guy distracted by some puss. And child, red sneakers popped out that champagne and got right out of there. 
She popped them red sneakers on, had a coat ready outside, <laughs> took off. God, now we got fucking James and Angie waxing sentimental post quarters. Okay, so now she gotta go because Ruiz has just been stabbed. Nomar let her know. Tommy calls Ghost and lets him know it wasn't the Jamaicans we hired. But he ain't dead. They missed. So Tommy's like, if somebody else swung on him, then he's not the issue. So we gotta meet up and sort it out. So it ends with both of them running to deal with the emergencies at work. All right, I'll see you soon for the Allegedly Show.